Good morning. Welcome to Writing 97 and Effective Learning 113, uh, two paired classes that go by the name Introduction to Essay Writing. Uh, this quick video is just going to show you how to get around our course so you can get started with your homework as soon as possible. So uh, you'll notice our Moodle course looks a little different probably than many that you've taken and um, I hope it will be easy to navigate. If you have any troubles with it, uh, please let me know or check in with the student help desk. They're extremely helpful and there's a link to uh, all of their help resources available under general resources, which is where you'll start. Whenever you log in, the first thing you'll see is general resources and that has the news forum, which is where I send out announcements about class and um, the class syllabus and then some helpful links like the help desk and anything else that I think everybody should know about. Where we're going to start today is right here with Start Here, and the way you navigate this class is you'll be able to click on each week's activities up at the top, and it'll tell you where you're working at right now. So currently I'm working in the orientation and introduction materials, and I have four total assignments I need to do, and I've done one of them so far. So I think it's helpful to see that right up front, remind yourself where you're at. So I'm going to click on Start Here, and... Well, I'm watching the orientation video, so I know I'm getting started. And then it's got a list of what you need to do for this section. And once you've completed this section, then the next section will become available. Um, that's going to be true for some weeks, like you'll have to complete everything in week one in order to see the assignments for week two and that kind of thing. But it's not always avail or not always true, and you can't skip ahead. So I can't do this all really quickly on Monday, and then do all of week one stuff on Tuesday, and all of week three on Wednesday. It's still going to be, you know, week two will be available starting uh, this Sunday and things like that. So anyway, here are the different assignments, and then right below it you'll see the assignments. So here's a um, reading and quiz that I need to do, and here's another quiz that I need to do. For all of the assignments that you have in this class, I will try to make it so that there's this predictable list of what's expected of you. So you're going to see the objective. That's what we want to accomplish with this assignment. I'm always going to try and tell you how much time I think the assignment will take. And that'll vary. Some readings might take some of us, you know, 20 minutes and some of us might take an hour. So use that as an approximate guide. I'll always let you know how many points are possible and usually how it's scored, so what grade category it falls into. Um, anything you need to do before you can do this assignment. So I've got to read the syllabus and watch the video. And then the instructions on how to complete the assignment. And always down at the bottom, you'll see how do you know when you've completed this successfully. So a lot of these assignments down at the bottom, you'll see this little exclamation point on the main page. And that means that it hasn't been completed yet. When you've completed the assignment, then that little exclamation point changes to this guy, a little star. That means completed. And you can hover over it and it says, completed. So what you're going for each week is to make sure that all of these are completed. Some assignments, you can check them off yourself. So I've already checked this one off that I read the assignment schedule. Um, if I haven't read it, then it shows up as yellow reminding me, hey, you need to come through and do this and then mark it as complete. So for things like readings, you can view them a couple of times and then when you're ready to actually read them after you've done it, you can check it off. So you have a nice visual reminder of how many assignments you have in front of you each week. Um, some other important things to know, you'll see down here, here's, I'll always be listed as your course contact. You can click on my name and you can from there easily send me a message over Moodle. Moodle messages are confidential. It's just like email. It only goes to me if you click on my name. Um, and I get them in my email. I will try to reply within 24 to 48 hours during the work week. Um, I'm a little slower on weekends, but this week in particular I'll be around a lot making sure I can answer questions and problems as they come up. Um, yeah, so that's really this the opening welcome and information about our course. Uh, Oh, one more thing. Over to the right, so you can scroll up to the top at any time and you'll see these contents listed. Um, over to the right, you'll also see this little blue square that says admin. If you click on that, that's where you can find your grades at any time. So click on grades and it'll take you to 
um, our class gradebook. And then you'll see how you're doing so far. Well, there aren't that many assignments yet today, so um, once you make, once you complete your first assignments, you'll start to see grades filling in here. Notice here I've got a little dash mark, and it says 0 to 10, dash, dash. That just means I either haven't done it yet or it hasn't been graded yet. This 0 to 10, that's how many points are possible. Don't worry about dash marks until they turn to zeros. If you get a zero, that means, uh-oh, I didn't see it get done, I gave it a zero. Um, but a dash mark doesn't mean you don't have credit for it, it just means that I'm still working on grading it. So look for that letter grade or the percentage if you're wondering about your grade. And then sometimes over here you'll see feedback, written feedback from me on different assignments. All right. At any time, you can always scroll up to the top and click on the name of our class on this thing. We call it the Crumb Trail, and that will take you back to the very front page. There it is. And then you can always find your way to whatever you are working on next. Good luck this week. Um, one last note. So first week of classes, we have what's called administrative add and drop which means that I need to see everybody do something, complete some form of online activity this week before Friday if you want to remain in the class. I have set the deadlines for this orientation material um, to be Wednesday. I'd like everybody to read the syllabus and take that quiz before 11.55 p.m. on Wednesday night so that I just know everyone is here, knows what's expected of them, and is ready to get started with class. Most of the time our deadlines will be on Sunday nights at 11.55 p.m. Occasionally we'll have a midweek deadline of Wednesday, um, but you can do your work at any time. So if you only have weekend time to do work, which is going to be really difficult for this class because we have a lot of work, uh, you could do your work in advance of that Wednesday deadline most of the time. Um, but you'll see the assignment schedule here and read more about that in the syllabus, so I will let you get started. Get in touch with me if you have any questions this week, and good luck!